Hi, I am Sentimus Prime, and here I'll be showing you how to build an altar mock I made using the parts from this Lego set 43189. And here are the parts. First, we'll be taking a good look at the parts. These are the parts we're going to be needing for the build. And yes, it is a very, it's, it's going to be a pretty simple one, but I'm going to show, I'm going to show how to build it anyways. Now first, I'll be building like the book casing part. First, there's going to be this part. Now notice how this book piece has the Lego mark. Keep that in mind. It's on this side. So first no. Here's some here's the Lego logo down here. It's over here. This is the side without the print. Attach this with the silver pins. And then here's the side with the printing. going to be attaching these up and th there now when it's going to be all built up it's going to be standing it's going see see there pretty decent Now let's get on with the rest of the build. Going to be building two of these. Pretty simple. Going to attach them to the edges. Grab this part. Stick it on the side w with the printing, and then, and then for the side without the printing, I'm going to be building the little locking mechanism th thing. That's how it's built. And then it just simply attaches here. Then. You grab this part, and then you attach it in on the back at the printed side, like so. That that's obviously very standard stuff. But now let's get on to the builds, to the unique, more unique stuff. First, I'll be showing you how to build this. So basically, you grab this, you take a couple of these slopes, stick them like so, grab this, grab this jumper plate. Stick it up on there. Grab these two jumper plates. Stick the the pink one on this side, and then this light blue one on the other side. Then grab this part. Stick it on like so. Grab the orange cone, 
drill piece, stick it on the stud of the pink one, then grab this black stud piece, stick it on top of the jumper plate, and then grab this little piece, then stick it on like so. And that's how you're going to be getting that articulation in the eyebrow. Then you just mirror that. Alright. Now on the book. Stick them. On. Like. So. Making sure the eyebrows are pointing towards the print to side with the printing on it. Now I'm gonna grab these two parts, stick them together, and then grab two of these really really light blue jumper plates. And then stick them on each anti stud. Then stick this in the very middle. Now let's get on to the build to the next part of the build. So you grab one of these, these orange arch pieces, grab a couple, grab these two pieces, these like robot face mask pieces, and stick them on, both of them pointing one direction. Then you grab two of these one by one clear bricks. Then stick them on the remaining two purple studs. Then you grab this piece, stick stick it on top of those studs. Then grab two more of the these translucent bricks. Then stick them on top of those studs. And then grab this one one by two translucent tile or plates or tile. But has studs on it. Stick on top of those studs. And then grab these two slope slope pieces. Then stick them on top of the studs like so. Now you have like a little ice tower thing going on. And the ice tower gets put on top between the eyebrows making sure that the icicle pieces are pointing up there we go now we'll grab this arch piece put these two clip things on like so Put these two round pieces on. Take this part, stick it on the anti studs under there. Then grab this part, stick on top of the gray studs, and then grab the rock, grab the the bar piece, stick on there. And then take this and clip it on with the printed side facing the same way as this assembly. Then you build, then you attach this, make sure that this assembly, the printed side, is facing towards the eyebrows. Very good. Now that part is done. 
now let's get on to the this part first we're going to take this purple part put a couple of these pieces on take this put it on with the clip with the bar side facing this way then you take a couple of these tooth pieces stick them on with the tooth side facing the opposite direction then take a jumper plate stick on top of those studs and then grab this pyramid piece and stick it on top of that stud now you attach this on these studs like so pretty decent huh now we're going to be building the guards or one guard take this one by two piece put a couple of these snot of these dark blue snot pieces stick them on top of those studs and grab the jumper plate stick on top there take this snot piece stick on top there this piece plugs into here that'll form like the face thing then grab a netter plate the pyramid piece stick on top of there and then this like sort of white ice white piece We'll stick on to the back of it, stick on, stick on to the studs on the side. You'll be building two of them. Now on the build, you're going to be attaching them on what, you're basically going to be attaching them on one stud over here on the corner. There you go, and of course it forms the teeth, some of the teeth. Now we're going to, and finally we're going to be building the terrain up there. So first we're going to be grabbing this piece, going to be sticking it right there. Then we'll grab these two parts, this time in dark blue, going to be sticking them behind there like so then we'll grab the other one of these stick on top there to form a larger mountain take this this piece stick right that plug it in right there then we're gonna be quickly building the small the slightly sl larger tree Gonna be grabbing one of these cylinder pieces, a couple of these leaf parts, and then plugging the other twig thing through there, like so. Then you'll be plugging this in here on the other stud and making sure that the that the branches are a lot are positioned in a way that would give clearance enough clearance for this ice tower because if you don't then it won't close properly and finally we're going to be building the rocky terrains and stuff let's start with this one and taking this Grab this piece, stick it there, grab this part, stick it right there on these studs, and then the remaining studs, you're going to put this on like so, and then stick this part and plug it in right there. And then for the final one, you take, you take this, you plug this ice, icy piece, Stick it back there, take this part, plug it right there, take this slope piece, stick on 
right there along the lines of that. And then take this round piece and plug it into the remaining stud. Now you put you attach these onto the remaining studs like so and that'll be it. Then you close this up mostly and there you go that is how you build the monster book of frozen 2 that way when you close it up the lego logo and everything is right side up and everything when you stand it up very neat and that'll be it if you enjoyed this video consider to who like and subscribe and of course i'll be posting again sooner or later